Yeah, what it do, y'all? Good evening on this very good Wednesday. Getting ready for these holidays. Welcome to another episode of Real Talk Live. And um, <clears throat> we're going to start out with um, a few little questions. We ain't going to be on too long tonight because of the holidays. I just like to say um, some shout out to my co host. He's um, busy today doing some stuff. What up, Miss Tasty? How you doing, baby? I got my my co-host man he out man man he working y'all so i guess it's gonna be solo dolo gonna be me by my stuff what up miss glow yeah uh-huh y'all thought i wasn't gonna do the show but i gotta do it by myself my co-host is gone he said he'll be back next week y'all and that is it but uh anyway we gotta get hot yeah you better be blessed because i'm blessed Shit, i'm about to hold it down and do this thing you know what I'm saying? I got a question that I got to ask anyway. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Lord, I tell you. He said, how far, how far, he said, how far should a person go messing with a married man or married woman? That was the question. That was your question, Miss Glow. <laughs> I'm going to put you out there on the spotlight. I know it was. But anyway, I got to know. She said, how far should it go? How far should you go? Even messing around, teasing, messing with a married person. How far should you go? Let's talk about it. Oh, what's up, Miss Shani? How you doing, baby? What it do? So we got to find out how far should it go, man? How far should you take it? When y'all just mess around with people, man, or talking to folks. What's up, Miss Erica? How you doing? You know what I'm saying? How far should you really play around and mess with people that are married? That was the question. She said no. <laughs> hey man, the question is that no, no. Well, I mean, you ain't going nowhere with it. I don't think you should go anywhere with it. But I think um uh, people should uh, respect people's boundaries and people should um also you should not. What up, what up? What up, Dez? What's going on, baby? She said that shouldn't happen at all. No, it shouldn't happen. But you know, when you tell people constantly and let them know, and they still doing it. I don't know, man. I think you just got to go on and tell them, you know, hey, man, I can't deal with you. You got to go. I just can't mess with it, you know, because I already know why I had to ask this question because, you know, on the show last night, we was playing around on TikTok. People were doing it. And my moderators, they was jumping all over me. So I had to, um, I couldn't acknowledge everything that was going across the screen, but it was some women in there, man. They were saying some jacked up stuff. So, so they was just like, doing things and saying stuff they shouldn't have been it was inappropriate anyway especially to somebody that's married especially if you don't told somebody that you're married you know you shouldn't even do it so i mean this is not something too big to even uh, nag on but you just got to tell people straight up from the beginning hey man once i tell you no no means no it's like doing drugs it's like when you're trying to rape somebody no means no kill it stop it just don't even do it you know what i'm saying Huh, Lord, I tell you, mm, mm, mm. listen, I will say this though, my moderators was banging, they was on their job though, you know what I'm saying, so I ain't even mad, because they did their thing, he said he did, mad, miserable, messy, so they were, they had to be, but I don't know, some of the ladies, you know, they was just on it though, so, hey, um, she said, no, peace. <laughs> Hey man, let's talk about this. Um, let's talk about this. Um, this virus, man. Um, what is doing and affecting um uh, certain people? I want to ask y'all. You know, I got a guy today. He just called me today. One of my homeboys. He got released from his job today, all because he didn't want to take the shot. So he was like, "Man, what you think I'm gonna do, man? What should I do?" I really couldn't give him no advice, advice, because I think everybody knows whatever your situation is, you have to make that decision for yourself. So asking somebody else for advice on that, I wouldn't do it because only you can make the right decision for yourself because we don't know your situation, really. I don't pay your bills. I don't know what your family is like. I don't know if you're married, single, whatever. So I don't know. All I can say is he got released and... 
you know, he, he could have took the shot or not taking the shot. And I think he's working in like a government facility where it was he's at. Wherever he's at, he was in a, a government facility. And, oh, by the way, he did try to do that. Taste it. He tried to do that religious thing, but his employer denied it and the other people denied it. So they didn't let him have that. So they released him. And I just saw on the news today that the actor off of 911, the black guy that plays the gay guy on 911 with Angela Bassett, them, he just got released today too. And um, because he didn't want to sign also and take the vaccine. And then he also put in for the waiver too, like Miss Tay said, just put up, and they actually denied him. The employees and deny him, and they let him go. So my thing is, I don't know, man. Your circumstances, um, it's up to you. Basically, it's really up to you. I mean, you can't really get no advice from nobody because only you know what you need to do to survive in this world. So you either gotta sign it, take the shot, don't take the shot. Then you just gotta live with the consequences. That's just where we at right now in the world, you know. So you really can't get mad at your employer. I mean, you can't because y'all knew this was coming when this shit happened. So you gotta base your life and what you're trying to do in your life on whatever your decision is. So if you decide not to take the shot, then don't take the shot. If you decide to take the shot, take the shot. You know, but. It, it's all on you. You can't ask anybody really, man, for your advice. That's just my opinion on it. I don't know what y'all think about that, but, hey, y'all knew this was coming. It came. It's here now. And I don't know what it's to tell anybody. So I, I just really told him I couldn't give him no advice on it. I said, man, you got to make your own decision on that because you got a family and now you're out of job. So I don't know what I don't know what he's supposed to do, and it, it's nothing I can tell him. Nothing. So... And I and that's what I'm that's what I told him, Miss Erica. That same thing you just said, man. You better do what you gotta do. So, what do y'all think? I mean, I'm 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 looking at the comments. I can take the comments. I just wanna know what you think, man. Y'all think it's wrong for the government and the so-called companies to do this to people? We want, I need to know. She said, I work in the field. You work in the field, son, do they make you? Do you have to take the shot or you ain't gotta take it? You know, because I know we got to like, y'all knew, we knew this was coming. We knew people was going to do this. We knew the um, companies or wherever you work for, we knew sooner or later people were going to start saying, hey, y'all, you got to take it or you don't take it. Take it, you don't, you keep your job. You don't take it, we're going to let you go. What you say, Dez? I can't, you can't hear me? He said, I'm working in jail and had the choice. I work in the healthcare and it's mandatory. I can see your uh, comments, Dez. I don't know if you can hear me, though. I don't know if y'all can hear me. I'm trying to make sure she said for DC. I had no choice. Yeah, I got you, Miss Go on that one. My company is trying to make us take it. So if they make you take it, are you going to do it? Because if not, I mean, I mean, what's the um, what's going to be the results if you don't? Okay, I got you, Dez. She said, but the numbers have been high and people have been dying. Yeah, and I just, you know, was talking to uh, Miss Glow on here, and she was just telling me this shit is serious, man. All this new stuff, it's serious. They, Man, listen, South Carolina just got hit. And we just, they just told us that our numbers don't win on, even with the new virus that's out. So this, hey, man, the thing is real, man. Whether people want to believe it or not, the shit is real. And I do believe they are. But I, I'm just tired of people always getting on here talking about, no. Man, they just trying to control us and all this and that. Listen, if that's the case, then, man, they've been controlling us since y'all was taking all the other viruses. I mean, taking all the other vaccines. When we was born, when we was babies, when they told you you had to make your baby sacred. When you had to do this, you had to take the flu. You had to take all the other viruses. Hepatitis A, hepatitis B. So they've been controlling us the whole time anyway. So I don't understand, you know, what we're doing. You know, I get it to each his own. Do what you feel you have to do. So, Miss Tate said people got into January. When they got to January, they have until January 1st and they would be like, see? I mean, that's just the way it is. I mean, you can't fight them on it. All for the states got it hot now. They do. 
And I was checking that out today, two days before I came on here and started talking about this. I, I went and started doing a little bit more research once I talked to Miss Go about it today. And man, that's why I had to talk about it because this shit is real, man. And this thing coming hard. My dad almost died. Hey, I got three people right now a mother, daughter, and a son. They just got tested positive for uh, COVID and the other virus, whatever y'all call the other one. And um, she just called me today and they were vaccinated. So, and like she said, she's not mad because she knew the vaccination is not a cure. She knows the vaccination is just something to help protect or try to fight, fight this stuff and keep half of this stuff from happening to you when you get it. So she's not mad about it, but they have it. And uh, it's not that bad yet, but it's coming. Yeah, I see your um, I see him, Quinte. I see him. I see your comments. You said yes, South Carolina has got hot. Yes, I saw him. I see the comment. Yeah, I see him. And see, Miss Shana said she lost her cousin. Wow. At age 28. I, I got you. I'm telling you, this shit real, man. I'm telling y'all. If we take it in something that happens, at least we try to protect ourselves and admit it's scary. But you have to pick the lesser of the two evils. And I'm with you with that one. I'm with you with Erica because I'm telling you, I just got through talking to a football player and he's in college at Georgia Southern. Same thing, tried to explain it to him. I told him, look, it's your choice, man. But at the same time, man, do you you choosing death or you choosing life? Are you choosing the ability or the capability of how you live the rest of your life? Do you want something to get something that leaves you with some after effects that we can't even fix? Because a lot of people have an after effects. Even when they um get cured, so I don't know. You got to pick your poison. It sure has, Des. Everybody, and that's why I don't, and that's why I understand why people are having so much, so many. Um, I mean, I get it, but I'm still don't understand why people are having so many doubts of taking a vaccine when we already don't took all the other vaccines. I, I just don't understand that part. I know of a patient right now had both. Both shots in the end, and I see you almost dead, but she did it because job recommended. Wow. That's crazy, man. Wow. Thinking about people who have it and don't say anything. Oh, yeah, we got a lot of that. Look at Aaron Rodgers and all them guys. He was on protocol for it, but they didn't do that to him. Football player, if y'all didn't know, quarterback, he's out there walking on the fields, hugging people, shaking hands, whispering in their ears, and he didn't take the shot. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of folks walking around like they, they don't care. But that's, that's the thing. That's why it's going to keep revolving. That's why it's going to keep getting bigger, bigger, and bigger. And it, and that's just where it's going to be. Shit. Thinking about all the people who have it. Man, I'm in the war field. <laughs> Damn, so I have to protect myself. But, hey, listen, I'm protecting my little baby. And that's just the way it is. I'm going to stay with it. I took mine. I'm not worrying about what everybody think, what they say. Like we say, y'all, you got to do what you want to do and what you think. Just like them. I don't get mad. Hey, but I'm going to tell you this. You not come to me saying, hey, man, it's a tragedy. So and so, no, nah, did he have a shot? Did she take the shot? Did they do this list? I'm just going to say, hey, man, I, I, it's nothing I can take. What y'all want me to say? I mean, there's it's no other way to say it. Do I, I, I don't need to say I feel bad because you had a choice. Just like I took the shot. I got them. But guess what? I can still catch it. But listen, at least I took a chance to try to fight this crap. Instead of just saying, well, I ain't going to take it because I just don't want to do it. So I don't want to hear it. I don't even want to hear what nobody got to say about that. Dance to you, it's hard to fight when you have another illness. Well, guess what? A lot of them, this taste, they know they have other illnesses. And guess what? And they still sitting here saying, I ain't going to take the shot. But you say, hey, listen, I'm going to say this. Because I don't want to keep harping on it, because I want to talk about some other stuff for it. But I'm gonna say this, and then y'all can we can keep going if y'all really want to. But I'm gonna say this. Let me ask you something. You folks that say I ain't taking these vaccines, I just don't want to, cause blah blah blah. Now check this out. So if you go step on a nail, and you know it's rusty, and you just say you want no people that don't take shots, don't believe it. But as soon as you step on that nail, you're like, oh man. They say you better go get a tetanus shot. How come you'll run and take the tetanus shot and you don't know if it'll kill you or not? But you'll go take that tetanus shot. I got people doing that now. And then they call me to, oh, man, you know that's different. No, it ain't different. You just say you don't believe in none of the vaccines, but you ran and got that damn tetanus shot when you stepped on that rusty-ass nail. So I don't want to hear that shit. People going to be 
people. <laughs> and you already know, hey, I already know it. And they are. They very hostile with this shit. They can, they gonna be they, they can stay hostile, but they're gonna be all right. They'll be all right. Elizabeth, I don't care. They'll be all right. Yeah, go and take. Hey, look, they taking them damn tetanus shot. I don't tell you, he took that tetanus shot, but you main one talking about he ain't want to take no, he don't believe in vaccines. I said, man, what you think that is? Huh? You took it because your ass got scared because you thought you you going to lose a leg or something. You're going to get gangrene. That's the same thing they're telling y'all now about the, the virus. So guess what? Y'all don't know what, man, listen, in the army, they line you up. In the old days, they would line your ass up in the army in a row, and they had doctors on both sides, and they had these little guns. And we and all they said was walk down that line, and they would go do 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 do. So they just jacking, shooting shit in left, right, left, right, left, right, and then at the end of the line, they give us a little yellow card, and we say, and they have on that to my. This is all the vaccines we just giving you. We don't know what I don't know what the hell they don't put in my body. And now it's been over 25 years, y'all. And I'm still here. And I don't care what people say. They can say whatever they want. The government did it. And guess what? I'm still here. The same shit, Dr. Fauci. I don't like them and all that. But guess what? These guys, listen, man, they making it. They're not saying they, this shit is cured. It's not cures, man. It's not for the, to cure you. It's just supposed to help your ass. So guess what? Everybody tell me I don't believe in science. Well, they don't believe in science. Shit, because that's almost like saying you ain't, you shouldn't even be here then because it is what it is. So guess what? You either do or you don't. But all I can say is everybody in this world got vaccines in their damn system. So I don't see why this one is any different. That's all I'm going to say about that. Everybody got vaccines in their body right now. I don't care who you are. And if you ain't, if you crying about this damn vaccine right here, I don't know what to tell you. Shit. Because we all got vaccines on us right now. <laughs> hey, Eric said she took the Johnson & Johnson. Oh, shit, man, Eric. That's why your ass be on that wagon. You took that Johnson & Johnson. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. I'm just kidding. All right, man. Listen, I got... um. I got any questions y'all can give me right quick if you want one because I show I'm on it, man. I'm ready now. Y'all don't got me got me pumped up. But guess what? Bam. Hey man. Give me the next one. Who got one? Cause I'll show give you one. Who got she say everybody over here? Yeah, they all here. Hey, I got one here. He go look. I'm I'm telling y'all, man, these folks hit me with you. What's he say? Oh Lord, somebody wrote on here said uh for the holidays, y'all. They said, uh, <laughs> hey, why do we treat holidays like it's so sacred? Why do we treat holidays like they're so sacred? They like pretty much they're saying, why do we go all the way out just for the holidays? Why why do we do more for the holidays than any than, than just worrying about just enjoying life, period? I guess that's what they're trying to say. I don't know. But I don't know. Everybody don't do holidays. I don't do holidays. So I just enjoy every day y'all but um i don't know what y'all do but i ain't i ain't worried about no holidays man i just like to enjoy the life and do what we gotta do and be happy with everybody what up Vaughn? what up man i see you just came in there i see it but if you do celebrate your holidays man to each his own do your thing you know if you like getting together with family and cutting the food and then y'all start arguing after it hey keep it going are you supposed to get your life out live? And even when the holiday come, you also, uh, hey, Des, I, I think that's what you're supposed to do. But I think a lot of people, man, they really never enjoy the holiday. They don't really enjoy life until the holidays come. You know what I'm saying? Like Miss Tate said, the true meaning of Christmas is not under that. It is. You're right about that. It's not under that tree. But a lot of people, man, they this is what they specialize in on all the holidays. With the Easter, the Valentine's Day, um, the holiday. We talk about the holiday. We ain't talking about like people's birthdays or like Martin Luther King. We talking about actual holidays that people just came up with. That's what they're asking. Why we have to wait to the end to start enjoying. Talking about you going to enjoy this day and then it's over in like a split second. And you don't spend all that money when you could have been spending that shit throughout the year. So you won't even have to buy nobody now. <laughs> Set that <of> money. <laughs> hey. Hey, where's that? That's there. Well, you're right there, cause um, I mean, I'm I buy stuff regardless, but everybody got their own man. I think some people just really like getting family together. 
You know what I'm saying? I mean, I thought that's what it was supposed to be about, but I ain't think you're supposed to be like, damn, if you don't get me some, that's messed up. Cause I got a lot of nieces and I got a lot of nephews and I ain't buying nobody shit for Christmas. That's what they got parents for. Hey, I love my nephews and nieces. So y'all hear me? They're on here too. Hey, listen, they ain't buying you nothing. You got a mom and daddy, that's their job. And I'm going to buy my child something. So I ain't asking nobody about my children. Nothing. I'm, I'm going to do it. I don't need the grandparents to buy them nothing. <laughs> I'll buy my own kids shit. <laughs> so I don't know what to tell y'all, man. But hey, do it how you do it, man. Whatever, whatever you like doing, you do it. But I'll buy my own kids stuff. So sorry, y'all. So that question, I don't know. That was all. Awesome. That is love. How is that not love? I don't need to buy my grandkids nothing. I didn't have them. Somebody else had them. My sons had them kids. I didn't have them kids. It is their job to buy their kids their own stuff. It ain't my job to buy my kids, my own grandkids anything. If I want to buy them something, I do it because I want to. It's not a such thing as I have to. So you got to, don't confuse the two. I only buy if I want to. I do not have to buy anybody anything unless I want to. You can't tell me I'm supposed to buy anybody anything. And that is love. How is that not love? You know what I'm saying? And say that again. Ain't no gifts, no damn love. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no screws. So I'm on screws because I don't want to buy people stuff. I don't have to buy nobody shit. You got a job, buy your own stuff. Why Why should I? How am I on screws? Because I don't want to buy anybody nothing. If, if that's what it's all about, just buying somebody something, man, get out of here. Stop it. <laughs> Erica. Stop it. When you go ahead and buy, well, matter of fact, since you're in that giving mood, why don't you get everybody on here on TikTok and all of us and send me something for Christmas then? <laughs> hey, I appreciate it, Miss Low. You're right, baby, because, hey, I'm trying to tell them, Dance. I'm, I'm sorry. They, they'll be fine. You know, Dance, I'm trying to. I'm trying to enlighten them and tell them, listen, you can do things all through the year for anybody. It, it doesn't have to be about no gift. Stop talking about this about a gift. It don't have to be about a gift. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I do what I want. This is why I tell people, like, listen, not to get out this sudden, but yeah, it is not to get out the sudden, but I'm just saying this. Listen, this is one of the things I tell my children, and they're grown. My money is not your money. I told them this even when they were children. Period. My money is not your money. You don't argue with the bank when the bank don't give you shit. So don't argue with me about my money when I don't give it to you or for your kids. Because it is not, it don't supposed to work that way. That's why you had them. You do for them and I will do for them when I want to. Get it? When I want to. <laughs> Tell again, man. People are misconstrued with the press. You know what I'm saying? It's not about, thank you, cousin. It is not about. What you telling me I'm supposed to do? It, it doesn't work that way. Y'all got to stop doing that and stop getting on here making it seem that way. You teaching your kids that and telling them it's about somebody doing something for them and they have to and they help. No, nobody's supposed to do anything. You know what I'm saying? You're right, because I use my family members and their kids stuff, but they never sent my kids anything for years. And I believe that because he said, talk about it, get it. I don't need it. What? That's right. And he, you see what Mr. Morton just said? That is so damn true. And half of y'all do this right here. And what is it? Exactly what he just said. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, I'm telling y'all, better go back up there and read that comment by Mr. Morgan because that shit is so true. And you know what? And I stopped doing it too. I stopped doing that. You know? So does that make me a Scrooge? Miss Erica, I will be a Scrooge because I have no issues with being a Scrooge. So, oh well. Hey, listen. I'm still going to have uh, presents under the tree for my daughter. <laughs> so she, hey, look, and I'm going to tell you another thing. I still ain't received no presents for my 16-year-old down there or for my daughter from anybody. So what did that tell you? Man, stop it. I'm not I'm not doing all that. Y'all need to cut that out. Stop teaching, stop teaching that stuff like that, man. We, we so programmed. Stop being programmed. Bears, I'm with you, Dad. Shit. You know what I'm saying? Look, Cuz said even just send me a card. They don't even do that. Come on, man. Hey, but they'll get on your phone 
on Christmas Eve, though, and blow your damn phone up with Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. I ain't heard shit from you all year, but you can get on your phone and call me and say, Merry Christmas, Merry blow my damn phone up text. <laughs> Hey, tell them, hey, look, boy, tell them to cut that shit out, man. They program. Tell them to cut it out. You better have presents for that, man. I don't have to have any presents for them. Let me, let, let me explain something. Let me, let me break something else down to you, Miss Eric. Let me, let me, I'm going to help y'all. I'm going to help y'all. I'm going to help y'all out on some shit. Check this out. Technically, I really don't have to get my child anything. I do for her ass all year. That's why she was born. And it's my job to take care of her. It ain't my job to go out and flourish her with no bunch of gifts, no toys, or none of that shit. My job is just to raise her and do right by her and teach her. I ain't got to buy nothing because everything else she's getting already. See, you're getting it confused. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for being <laughs> still. You know what I'm saying? So listen, I don't know if I'm freezing. If I'm freezing, I'm sorry. I can't help it. But I'll tell you this. It ain't my job to do anything all for my kids. I, I buy them whatever I want. If I don't want to buy them, I ain't get them that because I take care of them the other way, and that's it. That's enough. Oh, it's still freezing. Hey, I got another one for y'all, too. Let me ask you this. And by the way, how many of y'all still out there telling your damn kids it's a damn Santa Claus? How many, how many of y'all out there still telling your damn children it's a Santa Claus? I just want to know. Y'all, hey, tell me, hey, hit the comment box right now. Tell me how many of y'all still telling people out there that it's a Santa Claus. Because I, I got some coming behind this Santa Claus shit. How many of y'all got telling y'all kids it's Santa Claus? You know what I'm saying? How many of y'all still telling this Santa Claus? Tell it. Where's the cutoff, baby? Hey, cutoff, baby, should have been at six or seven. <laughs> Hey, the cutoff age should have been like six, seven. Let them enjoy it. Like, let them enjoy it till they like five. But six, seven, man, you need to tell them the truth, man. Tell them it's you. Just tell them, man. Hey, hey, listen. I know that's right. Cause, hey, look. Because you know what? I'm going to say this. Y'all are sending your kids up there to sit on Santa Claus' lap and ask for some damn toys. You already messed up right there. Why not tell the kid when they go up there and sit? If he was real and he magical, tell him to go up there and ask Santa Claus for some money so you can um so you can pay them damn bills and get out of the hood. I, I ain't asking my child to ask Santa Claus for no damn toy. I'm going to tell him to go up there and ask for $2 million or $3 million so we can get the hell up out the hood. We can buy you some toys <laughs> with that with that money. Oh, I'm gonna tell my kid, you yeah, sit up on his lap, ask for no toy, go ask for some money. <laughs> I know that's right, cause hey, what the hell I'm gonna tell my child to go sit on his lap, ask for a toy? I'm gonna be like, no, nah, man, he giving out free shit. Go up there, ask him, tell him we need at least two men. <laughs> I see you, Miss Glow. I hear you. He said, look, I hear you, Miss Glow. Fun, so I knew that shit it was fake when I was young. We lived in the project. <laughs> we had a, hey, me too, man. We had no damn chimney. She said, don't make sense. <laughs> Listen, man, what you said, don't make sense of what? Because I'm just saying, man, you can tell your kids it's you. Why are you getting all your, why are you giving everything that you've done that's so good in your life. You giving all the credit to somebody else. Man, tell your damn children it's you, man. Stop stop being with this program. It ain't no damn sound. Stop it. Stop it, y'all. Cut it out, man. Tell your kids, man, the truth. Tell your kids it's you breaking your back every day to go buy them that iPhone and that tablet and them damn shoes and them underwear and drawers. Because sooner or later, you're going to stop buying them damn toys and all you're going to buy them is some underwear. You're going to make sure they got underwear, T-shirts, and socks. <laughs> Hey, sooner or later it's gonna come. You ain't gonna buy them. You gonna be putting socks, underwear, and socks up under that tree. You ain't gonna be getting no toys. <laughs> I know that right, Tracy. That man is in a non <laughs> But hey, man, it gonna be damn shoes and socks and underwear. <laughs> man, y'all have got me on one today, man. Let those di listen. I just said you can let them have fun till they like till they like five and six, Miss Eric. I didn't say 
don't, but I'm just saying at a point you're gonna have to tell them it is not no damn Santa Claus. You don't wait till they fucking nine and ten. Shit, I ain't giving no credit to nobody. When I go to work every day and I, I'm the one busting my ass, I have to give no credit to nobody. Man, get up out of here. Hey, I'll take three too, Miss Taster. I'll take three. I would take three too. I'm just saying, you just need to tell. Them. You know what I'm saying? So you know, it is what it is, y'all. So, hey, on that note, man, <laughs> this gotta be a. This ain't gonna be too long today because um, we got uh, I got a plan to get out here for my trip in the morning. So, I gotta get y'all. I got two more uh questions, man. If um, I'm giving it to the to the people, man. If y'all got something, we gotta talk about. It. Come on. I'm waiting on y'all to give it to me. Two, anybody. One, two, anybody. Y'all got some? Let's get it off. Come on. Don't be coming with no crazy stuff either. Because I know somebody got something they want to get off. I'm I'm ready. And it don't matter what it is. Life, story, problem, issues. Let's go. We got enough people on here to um help you fix that issue. <laughs> Credit man on vacation, Des. He he actually went on vacation, man. He hit me at the last minute. You know how black folks is, but it's all good. Miss Elizabeth said, look at my coming. He would be like, peace of rain, dear. <laughs> he would be like, peace of rain, dear, left the building. <laughs> man, <like laughs> I saw you coming. You crazy. Hey, come on, man. I know you got something else. Come on. Man, come on. I need one, man. I need one good cook. Cuz is, um, he's still working, man. He had to work, man. You know, when it, he delivers, um, he does like liquor. He works for one of the biggest um liquor uh distribution in South Carolina. Man, you know how the holidays he couldn't get off. That joke is still out there delivering liquor, man. It's crazy. I should have opened up me a liquor factory. Shit, they getting paid. <laughs> they get paid, man. And then hey, look, and then we got hold on, hold on, hold on. What's she say? Hold on, hold up, y'all. Hold on, hold up. I got one. Hold on, hold on. What the hell? What did he say? Hold on, I'm looking, I'm looking. Oh, no, nah, that, that ain't no good question. I don't even want to answer that. That's a sorry question. That's a generic question. We don't even care about that. So who else got what he said? He bring in your shine. Man, I already got my shine, baby. It's here. My shine is here. I already got it. I got three more big bottles. I'm taking them down to Orlando, Florida, y'all. We got it. Yup. So what's the deal, man? She said, um, so how many of y'all are getting ready? For this New Year's, man, I know somebody don't spend a lot of money out for this New Year's. Where we going? We got so she said, "What happened to the back door bridges?" <laughs> man, hey, everybody's going on leave. She said, "How far are you willing to take someone?" Ooh, secret. If you was told not to say something, wow, wow, hey, <laughs> it depends on um, it depends on if they your real friend. And then it also depends on what the secret is. That's my opinion. That is, that's kind of deep, this taste. You know, like, I got secrets on people I haven't told. And I think people got secrets on me I've told. They haven't told. You know, we taking that shit to the, that's right. We taking that shit. Hey, look, I don't know, Miss Blow. It's some things might have to tell somebody, especially if, they talking about they about to kill somebody. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. You, you can't take that to the grave. She and people hold a secret until they get mad and then spit it out. Well, I don't know. I don't know, Miss Elizabeth. Um, because I don't told some stuff and I got stuff. I got secret shit. I got skeletons all over. But guess what? They ain't came out. And we don't got mad at with each other, people, me, my family, cousins, whatever. We all don't got mad at each other. We ain't told our secrets. So I ain't going to, I can't say that. Some of them do it. Some of them don't. I'm taking all my shit to the grave, y'all. Everything. Any, every, hey, each and everything, I'm taking it to the grave, baby. She's a, so <laughs> Hey, oh, my shit going to the grave. Listen, if you find my secrets out, it's going to be out there. I'm dead and gone. You know what I'm saying? So whatever my wife or whoever finds shit, it'll be in this phone after I'm dead and gone when they open it up. <laughs> hey, hey, shit. And then, hey, look, that's right, cuz. Hey, listen, and it won't even matter because I'm dead. They can be mad all they damn want to. It don't matter. I'm dead. 
so I don't care. <laughs> See, whatever they find in this phone or whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are they gonna do to me? <laughs> she, you can't question me. <laughs> she, she said that's what people do. They tell everything if you make them angry. Oh, they do. You know, y'all watch. They, well, yeah, they do. They do. But guess what? They only hurt themselves. Cause guess what? When they tell, then you tell. If they tell, then you tell. So guess what? Now we all tell it. That's all you gotta do. Hey, that that'll fix that. Once they tell shit, you you go tell it too. Just tell it. You know what I'm saying? Do like Tyreek did in um the show um Ghost 2. He told on every damn body to Mary J. Blige when she told him she wasn't gonna let him out that car. So shit. Tyreek told everything. <laughs> so y'all by the way, just tell it. <laughs> but nah, that's a good one though, Tasty. Hey, so Tasty, take that shit to the grave, man. Don't tell nothing. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with Sometimes you got to tell. So, Elizabeth, you telling me if the people came to your house right now and told you your ass was going to jail for something that somebody else did, but you was just there and you got a chance to get out of it, and they say, hey, we'll let you go, just tell them that they really do it. You ain't going to tell. Thank you. You going to tell, so stop it. I'm going to be a tell to tell this shit. I ain't going to jail for nobody. I'm telling. So... <laughs> <laughs> hey, call me a snitch all you want to, I'm telling. But anyway, y'all. <laughs> hey man, this has been good for this one, man. I'm um I know I gotta end the show in a little bit earlier because uh we got to get our stuff together. She said they're no longer my free <laughs> <laughs> I had to say that cuz hey look, I'm about to get the show, but cuz I'm telling too, man. I'll be a hey, I'm a, hey, what they say. I'm going to be a snitching bitching because I'm telling everything. I don't give a damn. <laughs> if they ask me, I'm telling. Shit. They was over there and they did it. She did it too. She was involved, all of them. I'm giving name, addresses, and all. Because guess what? They're going to tell on me. I know that for a fact. Y'all play it around and y'all want to. You better tell shit. To my child ain't telling snitching all that shit. Man, you better tell. I'm telling everything. I don't care what y'all say about me. I'm not going to jail. Shit. I'm going to be like 6'9". I'm telling everything. <laughs> What's the tasty question, Miss Glow? What'd she say? What, what was it? I didn't see it. I'm looking. I'm looking. She said, what would you do if your best... Oh, oh, Lord. What would you do if your best friend come on to your wife or your husband? If my best friend did? I mean... Listen, first of all, I'm going to say this. This is my opinion. Even if my best friend came on to my wife, she need to check it and say that he tried to come on to her. She need to check him on point. <clears throat> now she can come home that night and tell me that she was out with the girls and, oh, boy, all right, cuz, happy holidays, cuz. All right, and now she could come and tell me that night, hey, man, your best friend or whatever tried to holler at me we was out at the club or whatever, or whatever. And then guess what? Now, now now I can go and ask him, hey, man, what the hell wrong with you, man? Don't do no shit like that no more, whatever. But guess what? You know, and if he, I'm going to listen. I need to hear what he got to say. I need to hear that. Now, if he just said, nah, man, I did, man, my bad or whatever. Now, I would drop his ass then when he said, nah, man, I did it. Then I, I can't be friends with it. But I'm not finna do all that fighting, jumping, and hitting nobody because of that. I just would cut him off once he tell me. But I'm, I need to hear why he did and what, you know, the the reason behind it. And then I base it off of that. You know what I'm saying? Even if he is lying about it, I still I would cut him off. But I want to hear what he got to say. But, I mean, that's what I would do. I mean, because, hey. She still need to check him or he need to check whoever the girl is that tried to holler at him or whatever, you know. That's what I say. That person, if he did do it to my wife, she got to check him right then and there. And then she tell me about it. And then I'll go from there, you know. But, I mean, cause what else What else you can do? I mean, what, what else you going to do? You just going to go and fight somebody because they did it? I mean, nah, it ain't, it ain't that damn serious. It ain't like he raped her then, so. You just cut them off. They're not your friends no more. That's it. <clears throat> now they're your enemy. So that's too easy. 
I mean, I don't know what y'all would do, but that's what I'm going to do. I mean, ain't no use of uh, having no confrontation with nobody. For what? Just cut their ass off. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I'm not going to do all that. It ain't that serious. Now, if he was grabbing on her, touching her, and she said, babe, your best friend grabbed my ass like twice, grabbed my breast. He tried to kiss me on that. Now, it's a different situation when I approach him. You see what I'm saying? But, Hey, it is what it is, or you know, whatever. You know what I'm saying? That's that's how you have to handle that right there. You know what I'm saying? But if he if he just tried to come up to him and had a conversation, hey man, I want to holler at you. I'm trying to, you know, get with you and you got your husband and whatever. No, I don't care about that. But when you come to that touching thing and she say that, now then that's that's a little bit too far, you know. But she just got to check his ass then because first of all, if he even touches, she should be already hitting his ass with something. You know what I'm saying? So now when I get involved, I don't even have to ask no questions. I just need to come do do the work, put the work in, and then take whatever consequences come out. <laughs> That's it. But, you know, it is what it is, man. You know, so I know y'all, I don't know what y'all would do. So what would you do if your girlfriend hollered at your husband? I'm just saying, what would you do? You know what I'm saying? What would you do? You know what I'm saying? Would y'all fight them or you just cut them off? Because what you going to fight them for, really? Just cut them off. And that'll end, that, that'll end all that, man. It'll end all that crap. The Ram coming Thursday. <laughs> oh, man. But, yeah, man, it's been good, man. Hey, listen. I know we all going to have these holidays, man. I'm about to get ready to get up out of here. We got to all enjoy it. I'll try to get on TikTok, man. If I see y'all on TikTok, I'll, I'll try to do it. But I know I'm going to be in Florida, wilding, leaving in the morning. I just hope y'all have good holidays. And y'all probably won't see me till probably Monday. But I don't know. I don't know, because I won't be on TikTok probably while I'm gone. But I just want everybody to have happy holidays, man, and y'all enjoy yourself. Everybody be safe, man. And on top of that, man, please, man, if anybody gets sick, man, y'all let us know, man, so we can at least, you know, know y'all got something wrong with you, because we ain't going to know if y'all don't tell us, but y'all need to at least tell somebody, because there ain't no way we can all just find out if something happened to somebody. But, um, I think if something happened to me, my wife would get on TikTok and tell y'all. So, but yeah, man, everybody be safe, man, and have fun, man. And um, let's do this thing. Uh, but I know we'll be back to see everybody before the New Year's hit. So, but we just got to do this Christmas night and get it out the way. And everybody, hey, look, be safe on the road. Don't be speed. Hey, look, and Miss Erica, go and tell Santa Claus to come on in your house. Tell the island boy Santa Claus to come on in there and take care of y'all. But as we say, y'all, how we always do. Let's go, y'all. Come on, y'all. Sing it with me, man. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Would you be mine? <laughs> Would you be mine? Hey, say it with me. Would you be mine? <laughs> hey, right, man. We got to get ready. And anyway, man. <laughs> You got to say them. How you say it, Miss Glow? Y'all, you got to say the mind part right. You, would you be mine? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> would you be mine? I'm not messing with y'all, man. Anyway, y'all, we got to get ready, y'all. Hey, I hope y'all get some good gifts, man. If you don't, don't worry about it. Buy your own shit. You'll be all right. But we about to holler at y'all and um, take care. We'll see y'all when we get back next week. We got to keep this shit riding, man, because I love it. All right, y'all. Time to ride out. Holla.